Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My dear ICAP members, Assalamu alaikum. It is indeed a privilege for me to be here among my fraternity. I am grateful to the election committee to provide us this opportunity for expressing our views and we are all appreciative of your efforts. I would also like to thank the audience, especially the past president Mr. Hafiz Yusuf for his presence. For those who don't know me, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Ali Latif and I am considered as an industry member's representative. My father is a senior chartered accountant, MTK Rahmani, and my younger brother is also a chartered accountant, Ahmed Ali Latif. Because of this, I have the right connectivity with both the senior and the younger lot. And this is the reason that I am also so passionate about ICAP and its fears. On the lighter side, ICAP is mostly a dinner discussion topic among the whole family. And normally it's me who starts this whenever my father wants to start a discussion on my unhealthy eating habits. So that's what I normally start off with the ICAP. So just to make sure the topic is changed. ICAP is going through a very difficult phase. We are facing quite uphill challenges at the moment, which need to be urgently addressed. So the brand value of CA Pakistan remains distinguished. My vision is quite clear, regaining our lost glory of CA brand. A lot of promises have been made previously, but have not been acceded to. Some members' views are that the agendas mostly remain the same, only the year changes. It has been 50 years, my dear fellow members, in which we are talking, still talking about governance, whether they should be a CEO or not, whether the executives should be empowered or not. I think it is about time that these matters should have been dealt with. This is historic ICAP election as well, because I have learned that from the South region, one of our very own female chartered accountant is also contesting the election. This is something to be power, actually quite proud of and we must all appreciate her efforts. I have already advocated a separate seat for women in the annual general meeting and hopefully council has, will agree to accede to my request. I am also proud to inform you that I have been proposed as a candidate by our two legends of our profession, Mr. Abdul Hamid Chaudhary Saab and Mr. Sarfraz Mahmood Saab. With regard to the accomplishments to date, I don't want to belittle the compliments of our council. They have done a lot of, to promote our CFOs as business drivers rather than mere accountants. And I feel extremely honored to be part of this institute whose members are now CEOs of well-reputed companies. And no doubt this was all possible to the ICAP which has promoted this paradigm shift. There are some other matches that also need the attention. We also need to explore if I can be a degree awarding body or otherwise it can collaborate with other institutes to award minimum master level degree as the current practice of an equivalence is not up to the expectation of our members. To be relevant in today's marketplace, our young members need to be more technology savvy and ready to embrace the changes in the corporate world. We need to cater to those demands as well. I can talk about various strategic level discussions, ideas, but at the moment I feel we have to deal with some grass level issues. I am considered the voice of industry members and if elected I shall focus on the resolution of issues directly affecting the membership along with protecting the industry members rights. I am happy that some of the candidates have agreed to my long last agenda that if there are some strategic issues that should be brought to the knowledge of the membership either for approval or their suggestions through SMS polling or email but these includes issues like industrial articles for which I raised voice barring our members from industry members from opening a firm unless they go back and another firm serve a firm for two years similarly the decision for allowing non-members to become partners in firm should also be 
discussed and dealt with the members. I will just, my presentation would be available on the website, but I'll just give you a brief rundown of it. As you can see after matriculation, which I passed in A plus grade, I secured fourth position in the intermediate in commerce. Thereafter, I qualified in 2003. I have also a certified information system auditor and a certified public finance accountant. With regard to my job experience, I worked with Pakistan Tobacco, Bank of Punjab, Pakistan Mobile Number Portability, Pakistan Telecommunication Limited. The service to the institute includes me being chairman of the Northern Regional Committee, the chairman of CPD committees, secretary of the Northern Regional Committee, member of various bodies. Before that, one of the main things is any reconditioning candidate should inform the members what was his agenda last time and whether he has delivered it or not. That is most important, your past achievements. For that, I contested the first election with the objective to move changes in the code of corporate governance, look from which our, most of our industry members and all overseas members were debarred from becoming CFOs of a listed company unless they served the listed company for five years. After my election, with the help of that existing president and council, I was able to remove those changes. Apart from that, another change was being introduced in the bylaws where industry members were stopped from directly going into practice. By the grace of Almighty, that move has also been deferred. Similarly, I have promised and delivered the concept of the mentoring program, which has been launched by the Northern Regional Committee. It is a very industry-specific mentoring program in which we have identified industry-specific mentors. They would be there to assist you in transitioning from one industry to another, along with assisting you in finding the jobs. One of the job placement office, the idea was launched. It has been delivered, but not up to the expectations of members. And inshallah, if elected, I will move forward and make sure that proper job portal is there, which will facilitate our members. Other achievements include an e-learning portal. We have gone through, rather than our members unable to come to the institute office, they can view the videos of CPD along with uh, webinars are there. This was the agenda that I promised. It has been delivered. First ever family get together events in Lahore, Islamabad, etc. were also arranged. I have initiated discounted SAP Oracle courses along with the, just recently a Chinese language course for ICAM members. And one of the main thing that is hopefully going to be the initiation of employment termination insurance scheme in which after paying a specific premiums, members will be paid a substantial sum of money in case they lose their jobs. My agenda is already there, but some of the brief points is that we need to carry out a benchmarking exercise to see where our institute is. We need to open up strategic offices in UAE, KSA, Australia, and Canada. We need to support our overseas chapters by providing them e-learning platform, along with 70% of the members' fee sheet should go back to them, so that their chapter is strengthened. I want a separate committee for government-owned employee, our members who are working in government-owned organizations, because they have quite unique risks associated with them. I've already had this research agenda, it was previously as well on my Northern Regional League, where we should produce a research cell, along with the committee for ICAP to dealing with our affairs and proactively going forward with the member's recommendation to FBR. The composition of council, we need balanced representation and reserve seats for overseas members, women members, and our young members. By the way, I'm out of, even though most of our candidates were of the same age, when they contested the election, but I am one of the candidates youngest of all the lot, and currently the, I think the only one without any tie or shackles as well. Moving forward, there will be a governance manual that I propose. There will be industry-specific CPD activities, and the main agenda of has already been there. The job termination insurance scheme, inshallah, it will be launched quite soon for SMB practicing firms. Institute need to write strict worded letters to the public procurement authorities to resolve their issues and concerns. And one of the demands of our young members, the support to be provided for CA Housing and Adventure Club will be there. I hope that one day we come together for the betterment of the ICAP without any North or South region, as we both face the same challenges irrespective of the region we are in. I can believe we can take ICAP to the next level, which requires out-of-box measures. 
and I look forward for your support. Let me assure you, if I'm elected, I will ensure the members' long outstanding issues. Thank you. ICAP Zindabad. Thank you.